वेलकम एवरी वन टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एम एल डी एम एच आई पॉडकास्ट टूडे वी हैव विथ अस डॉक्टर सुनील भालिंगे सर हेलो ही इज द डिरेक्टर ऑफ आई सी आर स्टडी ग्रुप ही इज विजिटिंग प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ऑर्गन ऑन एम एल डी एम एच आई ही हेज डन इज एम डी इन होम्योपैथी हीज ऑल्सो डन इज एम बी ए इन एजुकेशन मैनेजमेंट आई विल नाउ रेमिनिस माई टाइम स्पेंड विथ सुनील भालिंगे सर इन द ओ पी डी एट एम एल डी एम एच आई पालघर and what i fondly remember is that looking at the screening sheet he would prescribe the constitutional remedy and this is not just once more than once that i have seen and the beauty of it is that remedy used to work for the patient for a very long period of time and this is what brings us to today's topic of quick prescription so sir is this perception of mine of quick prescribing right or is there any other perspective to this I think prescribing is never quick. The only thing is that physician can be quick. Uh, and homeopathic prescribing uh, has to be a responsible act, and not uh, 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 you can say like snapshot or uh, careless action. Uh, it all depends on how quickly uh, the physician is able to grasp uh, the entire dimensions of the case. in terms of the clinical diagnosis uh, in terms of the person diagnosis and the relationship between the clinical diagnosis and person diagnosis what homeopathic practice is which helps us in individualizing each case and it will also uh, depend on how the physician is able uh, 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 to grasp uh, the outcome which he expects from the case now uh, there are different ways in which uh, homeopathic prescribing can be done we all know ki if we want to understand the case in its all its dimensions then we have to have a complete data uh, uh, data from the case so collection of data will also uh, determine by the time the physician takes to uh, take the case we see ki if we ask uh, uh, novice to take a case he may go on to take the case for one hour two hours but at the end of the case taking uh, the students come to us ki they don't know what to prescribe that is a problem we see when we are uh, in our college opds or uh, with the students but a physician who is able to actually read between the lines and grasp ki what is important in this maze of data now what is important for a homeopathic physician how he can decide what is important is he has to have a thorough grasp of the homeopathic symptomatology he has to be uh, like a goldsmith who is able to pick up the gold from the all the metals or identify what is of real value to him so it can be any category of symptomatology right from the cause the mental symptoms the physical characteristics uh, Uh, the characteristic particular the concomitant symptoms anything can be a key to open the case and how a physician is able to identify these keys that will determine by his analytic and synthetic faculties many a times what happens ki we separate these processes of collecting data doing the analysis doing the synthesis and forming a totality ideally these processes go on simultaneously in the minds of the physician and this with experience a physician can become conscious of these processes so experience can enable a physician to identify what is characteristic in the data and he can develop the conceptual image of the patient and the disease in a very short time which will enable him to understand what is to important on which he can base his prescription this i would say can be quick prescribing which can be only possible when the physician develops an adequate conceptual framework and he knows how to apply this concept in practice so as we can see fair bit simple fair bit complicated there is an underlying process to it so sir where can we start is there any reference that we can uh, you know as homeopathic physicians look forward to or begin with it's commonly this is quite you know quite commonly asked by uh, homeopathic doctors is there a book uh, i think if we see our cases if we uh, read the homeopathic literature of even kent or uh, dr haneman or uh, dr bogar 
if we go to their literature we see cases which are of very few lines three four lines and then they have prescribed the remedy but we are in our uh, student years we are taught to do a laborious repertorization record all the symptoms evaluate all the symptoms and then use the repertory mechanically now fortunately computer repertories are available so computation has become easy but what to refer when to refer and how to refer that is not taught how these prescribers were able to identify three four symptoms in the case that is a mystery to us because they have not only picked up randomly but they definitely might have spent time with their patients but only when they are reporting their records they are reporting the important symptoms to us which they have given value and which have found a correct similimum and produce the result uh, uh, if we uh, 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 in the recent literature if you refer to the principles and practice of homeopathy by dr emil howley sir there is a chapter 12 on integrated prescribing in that sir has beautifully uh, elaborated on what is the meaning of quick prescribing and he has given the steps of what can be shortcuts in prescribing rather than following the laborious process here also i think he has highlighted the similar points which i said ki there is no uh, uh, there is no excuse for homeopathic physician from a complete case taking now complete case taking means what he uh, defines of the entire case of the clinical problem which the patient presents now quick prescribing in a case of a common cold or a viral fever of an acute disease and quick prescribing in a chronic case with a serious pathological disease they are two different issues so unless you have a entire conceptual image of the disease and the person it is not possible to do quick prescribing and then quick prescribing can be from any of the anamnesis of the case right from the cause the mental symptoms the physical generals the concomitants or the craving aversions from that what you identify as a keynote or a group of keynotes can enable you to go for quick prescribing so for that again i would repeat ki physician should have a thorough grasp of the homeopathic concepts of symptomatology uh, the concept of portrait and the outcome which he expects from the case and the prescribing has to be responsible and not careless so there is a difference between careless prescribing and quick prescribing careless prescribing quick prescribing mark these words write them down somewhere in your diary ensure you do not do careless prescribing ensure that you follow the process that sunil sir just mentioned he has given us a lot of references that we need to do he has also simplified it to us to such an extent that we can now start following these processes sir to end the interview if there is a take home message for i would like to ask for interns who are just you know have passed out from bhms they are into their internship for early practitioners and for senior practitioners because you yourself are now a senior practitioner what would be the take home message for each one of them relevant to this topic i think the take home message is ki what uh, we consider as laborious processes of uh, taking the case analyzing the symptomatology referring the repertories this laborious process helps us in developing the connections in the mind so that with your experience you are able to Uh, uh sort out what is important and what is not important in the case so experience should build up on your actual work and not so you can develop intuition gradually once you pass through that experience repeatedly and the processes the mental processes become conscious to you thank you so much sunil sir i will quickly summarize this uh, to our audience is that you begin you persevere you follow everything that is given in the book first you build up on your experience and then you become an expert and that is when if i understand it right you become a quick prescriber hope this podcast was helpful to you please mention any questions that you have in the comment section below we also have uh, our publication which is the icr publication where you can buy the book principles and practice of homeopathy and you will get to learn a lot more than what we have just discussed in the podcast this was just a small window into the learning of the icr and there are so many other books that you can refer to and make the best of your homeopathic practice